Hey guys, what's going on? John Philip Thompson here. Welcome back to my channel. This is a little sneak peek of my room. And I wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of this gallery wall that I'll be showing you a little bit more about in the next video because this is not my room tour. This is the perfect time to show you guys a little tour of my travel bag and show you guys all the equipment, all the uh, little travel knickknacks and accessories and kind of all my must haves while I'm traveling. So I want to show you guys what's inside my bag. The bag is from a brand called Ona Bags and they make phenomenal quality camera bags that don't look like camera bags. So I came across Ona Bags, um, I think from Dodd Camera in Chicago. I think I've had one for almost six years. Yeah, it's just, again, it's been such a quality piece that I've taken it all around the world with me and it's been thrown in airplanes, in cabs, in boats. It's been, it's been all over with me and it's really held up. All right, guys, so here is the bag. It is the Camps Bay by Ona Bags. It's a waxed canvas and it has been beaten and tortured and has so many battle scars, but uh, I think the bag really has gotten so much better with age. It holds a lot. I might be borderline having too much. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna go grab my scale. Let's see how much this is. Alrighty, let us weigh this bad boy. Wow, 25 pounds. Okay, so let's see what is in this guy. All right, so for the first thing with this bag, I'm gonna talk about is security. I love this flap that goes over. One thing is I don't want uh, zippers or pockets open and you know accessible for people to pit pocket or reach into. So it's really great to have these latches that you have to open to get into the bag. You have to access it here or right here. All right, so let's open the bag. So the DJI Spark is the travel drone that I have and it is insane. This thing is so small. This thing has been all over the world with me and so I cannot recommend this drone enough. All right, so here are the guts of the bag. It looks like, <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. It looks like chaos, but for me it is organized chaos and I know exactly where Everything in here is, and I use it at least once a day, probably. This is the Apple AirPods. So great, at least for life in New York. Listening to music, taking calls, podcasts. I These are probably in my ears for probably 60% of the day, at least. For the camera, I am a Canon boy and have always had Canon cameras. My Currently, my go-to is the Canon 6D. It's such a great full-frame camera for traveling because the body is a little lighter and it is such a powerhouse. The lens I'm rocking is a 24 to 70. I pretty much got this lens and haven't taken it off. I get asked about this all the time and I love this piece. This is from a website that I'll link below. It's called gordyscamerastraps.com, but it's this guy who custom makes leather straps for cameras and, and the reason I love it is because when I'm traveling, my finger is always on the shutter. I found that with like a typical camera strap that you would put around your neck, I would have kind of let it dangle and eventually not be taking as many photos. But with this, I feel like my finger is always on the trigger and I always feel like I'm ready for a shot. Another thing that I do not travel with out is my external battery. The one that I had for like three years finally died. I was on Mykonos and there's one electronic store and this has actually been a really great replacement. I'm gonna link the one below that I used to have. It's from Anchor and it is amazing. It is such a great external battery. It's, I feel like I some days I need one before noon, which is sad. All right, next up we've got a Bang & Olufsen speaker that is so sleek that break on me. Thank you, Brady. And it's got this great little leather cord that it just dangles from. And yeah, I love this color brown. I'm currently filming on this camera, but what I have right here is a Canon G7X. Such a great point and shoot that also takes phenomenal video. I'll actually show you right here. It's got this awesome flip screen right here that flips up and down. So it's great when I am vlogging and talking to myself, I can kind of see what I'm doing and know what's in frame as I'm talking to you and as I'm swiveling around. But if I look at the display, my eyes aren't looking at you, so it looks kind of funny. I've also got this little Manifoto tripod that is fantastic, but uh, can be perfect for just throwing the camera on a table and just right now to hold it from and give a little distance from myself 
to y'all because you don't want to be right here. I've got a charger for the G7X, two batteries. I've also got a charger for my 6D, as well as two batteries. I guess there's only two things in here for international flights that differ. That would be my passport and also an international converter. I've got my laptop charger in here as well. One hard drive that I carry around with me when traveling, it'll take a beating if I drop it. Just a little mental security for this guy. For that, we've got the cord with the adapter and also my card reader adapter, which is a must since they took the SD card out of the MacBook Pro. Do not get me started. I was just telling a friend that earlier today. I also have a backup card reader just in case. All my cards definitely got some micros for the drone and some additional ones just in case. I really do try to travel pretty lean and only take what I need and this feels like it's as lean as I could get. But let me also show you what is in the other compartment of this bag. So this is great because it's a really shallow shelf right here and then it also has a, a laptop holder, which is why, why this bag is 25 pounds. Always travel with some sunnies. I love these pair from Garrett Light. They're just classic and great. I've got my passport that I carry in a Shinola leather passport holder. Throw some cards or cash in here. If I'm, I feel like in Europe, I always have cash or euros. So it's kind of nice to just travel with this sometimes. For the airplane, I feel like sometimes I'm listening to music or watching a movie. It's really nice just to pop open a book and try to get some reading done as well. Right now I'm reading Holding the Man. Y'all, I just watched the movie, which I should have read this first but I was in tears the whole time. Oh, I cannot wait to get to the, the ending of this one, even though I know it happens, <laughs> but it's so sad and I cannot wait to just ball cry. Another thing is Monocle. They are amazing, but they're actually phenomenally well curated. I really try to get cities that I am going to and I'll thumb through it, get some recommendations before going over there, but then also it's just a great resource to have so I can't recommend Monocle and these little city guides anymore. Yeah, they're fantastic. And then we've got my 15 inch MacBook Pro, which sits nicely in this back pocket. I wanted to do an Air because I travel so much. I feel like an Air would be so, so nice. But editing, I can't edit on a 13 inch. I think my eyes would go crazy. So here is the 25 pounds in my bag. And it really is everything that I have to have while traveling. And you know what I forgot? Actually, I forgot a snack. I always have to have either a protein bar, a Quest or RX bar, or a little thing of nuts and fruit. I don't know, I try to be healthy, but I try to like have something that I can kind of munch on and zip away and keep. All right guys, so I've linked everything that I just kind of went through and talked about down below, but let me know what you use and what your go-tos are when traveling, what your uh, must-haves and non-negotiables are. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, which should be my room tour, so I will see you then. Thanks so much, bye.